the hard work, I should say, may just be beginning, Michael. Matt, many of the bills that still need to be passed deal with the state's budget. And while lawmakers plan to burn the midnight oil, Senator James Manning of Eugene says these bills will help Oregonians all over the state. If my uh, Republican colleagues do come back, they're serious and that we will actually get down to start working these bills and uh, not doing any stonewalling or anything like that. Senator James Manning of Eugene and other state lawmakers say it's going to be a long weekend. Starting at 9 a.m. Saturday, they plan to start passing more than 140 bills that have been in limbo since the 11 Republican senators walked out. Lawmakers plan to work until midnight Sunday. At the end of the day, we have a constitutional responsibility to get these budgets passed and to keep Oregon functioning. And I think we intend to do that, and we, ha we only have two days to do it. I'm hanging on. Uh, I, I, I'm looking at the clock. Senate President Peter Courtney calls the situation in the State House delicate. While Senate Republicans say they'll be there to get the job done, Courtney says he's hanging on by his fingernails. And there's no trust, lack of trust. There is uh, feelings of betrayal, etc., etc. All these things are at work with human beings, and that is a tough situation to be in. Senator Elizabeth Steiner Hayward, the deputy majority leader, says she's taking Republicans at their word and says she's not giving up on the issue of climate change. The governor is very clear. The presiding officers are very clear. Everybody's very clear that we want to continue to work on this issue, that we think it's very important that Oregon be in a leadership position about it, and we want to keep working on it. Um, nobody's giving up. While Governor Brown could call a special session to give lawmakers more time, at this time she hasn't made that call and in fact hasn't made any public statements since Republicans said they plan to go back to work. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News. All right.